Hello friends, this video on synthetic fibers and plastics part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now as I said these synthetic fibers are nothing but polymers and what are polymers? These are large molecules which are made up of multiple repeated units. The word poly, poly means multiple. So where you have multiple small units and they are all identical units. So they all just repeat themselves. So you just think of this example of a chain which is formed by repetitive units. So if you observe this chain closely, you will see that it actually contains units like this which are joined together. Now when they join together in a specific pattern, they form a chain like this. So basically each of these units, so the, this entire chain which is formed, this is the polymer. So the entire chain is the polymer. But each unit of this chain, so each particular, uh, this ring is a monomer. So a polymer consists of multiple monomers, so multiple repeated units. So the same unit that is the same ring gets repeated over and again to form a large molecule that is polymer. So that, that's a polymer. Let's to take some examples of polymers. So starch is an example of a polymer. So if you look at the structure of starch, this is how the chemical structure is. So you see, this is one unit, this is another unit and the same unit is repeating over and again and that's how a big molecule of starch is formed. Let's take another example of nylon. So just now we were talking about nylon. What is nylon? It is a synthetic fiber or an artificial fiber. Right. So if you look at the chemical structure of nylon, what do you see? I mean, however, it looks quite complex, but if you try to observe it very closely, so if you observe it from here till here, you actually see that these are all repeated units. So these are all repeated units. Correct. So this is one, this is two. So first unit, second unit, third unit, and they are all identical units and they are all joined by an amine bond. So NH bond is joining them. So you see here, you have a bond between the monomer units. So many monomer units joined together by a bond forms a polymer. So here also in this case, nylon is an example of a polymer. So now you can relate this concept with the process of production that is spinning. So these polymers are first formed. How they are formed? Polymers are formed from the monomers that is from smaller units so the first thing that will happen is monomers will form, many monomers will form polymers by a process called polymerization where several monomer units will get joined together by some bond and that's how it will form a polymer. And then this polymer will be in viscous form. So this will undergo the spinning process that it will pass through the spinneret and from the spinneret what we will obtain is the fibers and then the fibers are solidified to form the final fibers. So that's how the production of artificial fibers take place. So based on whatever we have discussed, let's have a quick comparison between natural and artificial fibers. So natural fibers, they exist naturally, but artificial fibers, they do not exist naturally. They are man-made. But natural fibers, they are obtained from plant and animal sources because they exist naturally. So either from some plant part, they are formed or from some animal part. For example, in case of cotton, it is obtained from the seeds of cotton plant. If you take example of um, say silk, it is obtained from silkworm. It is, if you take example of wool, it is obtained from different animals like sheep. So they are, so the natural fibers are all obtained either from plant or animals, but artificial fibers, they are man-made. So for them also, you need some uh, raw material or some uh, reactants. For example, it is obtained from coal, petroleum, uh, water, air. So using all these things, the artificial fibers are formed. Natural fibers not possible to change the fiber structure because we are not making them. So something which we are not creating, we will not be able to change its composition. But artificial fiber structure can be altered because it, it, it completely depends on us. So if we change the process of formation, so the structure of the artificial fiber will also change. Natural fibers are environment friendly, but artificial fibers are not. Why? Because 
In case of artificial fibers, the entire process of production which is involved during that process, sometimes some poisonous gases are also released. So that means it causes harm to the environment during its process of production. Also, there are certain uh, fibers which are harmful to environment. One such example is polypropylene. Natural fibers are more comfortable but higher priced, so they are quite expensive. Moreover, they do not have control on their production. So, they are quite expensive but artificial fibers have lower price. So, they are cheap but at the same time they are less comfortable. So, if you, I mean for a very common example, just take a, a top which is made up of cotton and take another top which is made up of artificial silk. So, and if you wear both of them, you can feel that the natural fiber is more comfortable to wear. So, natural fibers mostly used in clothing whereas artificial fibers are used for multiple purposes. For example, it is used in uh, making ropes, it is used in making parachutes, it is also used uh, in making, so when we talk about plastics, so plastics are used in making a lot of kitchenware, uh, utensils, bottles and so many other stuffs. So this is all about natural and artificial fibers. So in this lesson, we are going to focus more on the synthetic fibers, that is artificial fibers. So in artificial fibers, we are going to talk about different types of artificial fibers. How are they prepared? What are their properties? Where are they used? So that is our main agenda in this lesson. So let us take some examples or some types of artificial fibers. So we are going to discuss about rayon, nylon, polyester, and acrylic. So now we are going to discuss about each of these artificial fibers in more. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.